the next thing that we need to work on is guidelines and procedures. So I'm going to suggest that we create a PowerPoint listing the guidelines and procedures for using email in your school. So this is where you need to speak to your teacher and ask them what is actually allowed in email. So let me write that question down. What is actually or what is allowed when using emails? Some schools, some teachers are going to tell you um, no swearing. Obviously, that's an obvious thing that we should not be doing. No S-W-E-A-R-I-N-G, no swearing. There should be uh, no silly emails. Do not email people randomly. No emojis unless you are emailing a friend. If someone asks you not to email them, you should stop. You should not email anyone that does not work or attend your school work at or attend your school keep it very simple and i think once we have these bullet points this is what i think most schools are going to say most computer science teachers are going to say ask your teacher and have them give you a list i'm going to create my powerpoint based on this this should be very very simple to work with this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, so maybe seven slides. And how do we do this? I'm going to do mine on OneDrive. For my students, pause the video. So please, please, for my students, go ahead, pause this video, go on to Microsoft Teams, and I've shown you guys already how to create a new PowerPoint in the previous videos. So go ahead and create a new PowerPoint. And once you've created the PowerPoint, we're going to start filling the PowerPoint in. For some people, you can use PowerPoint on the desktop like this but I'm going to be using PowerPoint online. So I'm going to go back to my OneDrive folder. And from here, I'm going to click on add new. And from my list, I'm going to select PowerPoint presentation. You need to click in that first box. And when you click in the first box, you need to say using emails. And after you add using emails, I'm going to put in here, what did I say again? I said guidelines and procedures. So you can copy yours in, or you can write it out, whichever way is fine. Guidelines and procedures. I'm going to stop there and I'm going to create a second PowerPoint slide. So if you're using PowerPoint online or the new version, if you click on the left hand side here, you go to insert, you can do new slide, comes up with a new page. The first thing I'm going to speak about, go back to my list again, it says no swearing. So I'm just going to say in this first one, no swear words. And I'm just put some information here. When sending emails, you should not be using swear words of any kind. This will get you in trouble with teachers and parents. Using swear words is very unprofessional. All right. I think that should be that for that one. Just three points. We don't need to do much more than this. I'm going to show you guys how to make this look a lot better later on, though. But let's just do the PowerPoint first and we can come back and fix it afterwards. So again, click on that second slide you just created and just filled in. And again, go to insert at the top. Click on new slide. Now you can put any information you want in here, but I would try and stick to these main bullet points here. You can add more, you can add less, but try and stick to these. The next one says no silly emails. OK, so again, in that thing that says click to add title, I'm going to click in there and put no silly emails. And in here, I'm going to put even if you have a friend in school. You should not be sending. Sending them silly emails. This can get you in trouble. This will slow down emails for everyone else. So imagine you and your friends are sending emails back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and everybody in every class is doing the same thing. What's going to happen? Emails are going to start to get very, very slow because your emails are clogging up the system or make, it's making the system move a lot slower. So we should not be sending silly emails. Again, I'm going to click on the left hand side and I'm going to go to new slide again. So go click on this left hand side, go to insert at the very top. 
then click on new slide my next one is going to be no emojis unless you are emailing a friend oh this is a good one no emojis and i know some of you young people love using emojis but you have to be professional emojis are only to be used for people who are friends if you're emailing your teacher you should not really use an emoji some teachers don't mind if it's like a smiley face or something that says have a nice day and a smiley face or a thumbs up but normally you don't use emojis emojis are only to be used for people who are friends you should not be sending uh, kissy faces, for example, kissy face emojis to anyone in your school. This could get you in trouble. Sending emojis is not very professional, so don't do it. Perfect, that's the next one. So we only have about three more to do. Again, I'm going to click on the left-hand side. I'm going to go up to where it says insert. Then I'm going to click on where it says new slide. Pause, you need to be pausing the video and typing in what your thing is going to be. So ask your teacher for a list of things and you pause your video, go ahead, create your new slide and enter the title. So my next title is going to be um, no emojis unless you're emailing a friend. Do not email people randomly. So I'm going to say for my title, no random people. I'm going to say in here, do not look for random people in your address book. We all know what an address book is now because we did it in, in the last two videos, I believe. So do not, let me put this in bold and caps lock as well. Do not look for random people in your address book and email them this is very annoying and it is also unprofessional if you are not supposed to email that person please do not do so simple keep it very simple so again, no random people. Sometimes I've had in my classes before people figure out that they can email teachers. They find the teacher's email address and they start sending random things to teachers. Again, it's not very good because number one, it's going to be very annoying to the teacher. Number two, it's going to pull up that teacher's email address. Their inbox is going to be overrun with so many emails from this one person. It's just not very professional as well. Only email people that you should be emailing. That's number four. So this is my first slide with the information. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. I'm going to click on that one again. I'm going to go up to insert. So click on the left hand side, go up to insert, click on new slide. And what's going to be my next heading? If someone asks you to not email them, OK, stop emailing. Right. Perfect. So my my title is going to be stop emailing. If you email someone and they ask you to stop just stop some people prefer not to be contacted by email for whatever reason some people prefer to talk face to face some people prefer to use teams messaging some people don't want to use emails so if someone says to you please don't send me any more emails just stop if someone asks you to stop and you don't they have the right to block you and if they block you the it people are going to go ahead and have a look at why you've been blocked by this person and if it's because someone's asked you to stop if it's because you've been sending silly emails you will 100 percent get in trouble with teachers the it people and your parents because you're kind of being mean to that person if they've said stop doing something and you're still doing it you're kind of being mean stop emailing then the next one again i'm going to click on the left hand side again i'm going to go up to where it says insert and i'm going to go to where it says a new slide that very first option and my next bullet point is going to be you should not email anyone that ah this is what probably one of the most important ones do not email others outside what this means you should not be emailing anyone outside of school 
unless it's your parents. Some parents don't mind their children sending them emails. But if you are in a school, you should not be finding random email addresses of people and sending them any emails because that person can figure out who you are. And the last thing you want is for someone to know your details of your email address. They, they might know what you look like if you have a picture on there. They'll know what school you attend because the name of the school is going to be there as well. That's the very last thing you want. So please, anyone doing entry level IT, anyone doing IT in general, please do not allow yourself to email people outside of school. So I'm going to say emailing people outside of school is very dangerous. People outside of school are able to figure out where your school is and how to find you. This should be a rule for all children under the age of 18. Do not email anyone that is not a trusted adult. And a trusted adult would be someone like mom or dad, grandparents, cousins, big brothers, big sisters, uncles, aunts, whoever you think a trusted adult is. But if you're not sure who a trusted adult is, ask your teacher, ask your teaching assistant if, oh, do you mind if I email my mom just to get the evidence you want? Do you mind if I email my dad? Those should be okay, but you should not be emailing anyone else outside of school. Now I'm going to go back to my very first page. So I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to try and make this look a bit prettier. At the moment, it doesn't look very nice. So I'm going to go to design. I'm going to click on where it says designer on the right hand side here. And it's going to pop up with some stuff on the right. You can just choose the ones that you like. I normally just pick anything that comes up that looks really pretty to me. So I'm going to go through, pick one for each one of these, and that's it. Once you click on design at the top again, so you click on design, you go to that very last option that says designer. It's going to come up with all these options that you can click on and you simply choose the ones that you like. I've chosen the ones I like and this is going to be my evidence for that section. So I'm going to go back to my Word document now. I'm going to look on here and it says guidelines and procedures. So these are the guidelines and procedures that you have to follow in your school. Again, go ahead and ask your teacher, ask your teaching assistant, ask your IT person what the guidelines are for sending emails. These are pretty typical. This list is not every single thing, but it should cover most things and most schools. So I would go ahead now and screenshot each of those pages and put them in here. So I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint. I am going to go to my very first slide. I'm going to screenshot this one. So screenshot that. Pause the video, go ahead and screenshot yours and put it in your Word document. So that's my page one. So please pause the video, go to your PowerPoint and screenshot. I'm going to go back again. Screenshot number two, pause the video, screenshot this and put it in your power and put it in your Word document. That's number two. Go back to my PowerPoint again. Number three, I'm just going to keep repeating the same process. So screenshot every single page of this PowerPoint and put it in your Word document. I'm going to go to my next one. So pause the video, go ahead and screenshot. This is my emojis one now. This one looks good. Paste that in as well. Going to go ahead and screenshot this as well. No random people. So you you can actually pause the video, go ahead and screenshot everything at once. You don't need to wait for me. Screenshot every single slide that you made. I have two more.
Perfect, so now that I've done that, we can move on to the next thing.